I've got a whole list of things I need to do. It seems like every weekend I'm not getting it done. I've got to buckle down. I've got a game today. Tomorrow is major cleaning. I'm going to lose my mind. Let's just roll the intro. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're in my craft room. <sighs> Did you miss me Thursday? It was a problem. Wednesday night, my friend came over. We watched the basketball game. We had pizza. We had wine. Apparently the wine was a little stronger than I thought because after I had like one and a half glasses, I'm like, let's open another bottle of wine. And I think I had another glass and I rooted for the wrong team. I was hung over on Thursday. My co-workers were like, just stay here. We'll bring you water. I mean, I, obviously, I looked like death warmed over because they were like, okay, well, don't drink coffee. I'll bring you some water. Do you need some ibuprofen? <laughs> it was bad. Two and a half glasses of wine. It was bad. So, um... There's a game today, and we apparently made plans. I don't know what the plans are, because I don't remember that part of the evening. Mm. So, while I'm waiting for her to text me and let me know what I'm supposed to do and where I'm supposed to be, I figured that I would just t start taking down Valentine's and winter decor and getting all of that done. I'd like to get those two things done and a plan with me in this video and then Sunday's video is going to be like deep spring cleaning each room and I'll probably start with the bar area because I want to be able to put out my St. Patrick's Day decor and decorate that um, but yeah we're going to be doing some major deep cleaning and decluttering coming up I'm touching every surface with cleaner. I'm going through everything, even things that I may have already gone through. We're going to be taking a second look because I just don't want to have stuff in every nook and cranny of this house, right? It's just time to get a grip. So, I also want to label my bins for the decor to go in them. So I have this one that I used for Valentine, but it says early fall, so I want to take that off. I don't have any Cricut. I should have Cricut. I've searched this room. Um, I haven't looked over here. I might do a little bit more looking, but if I cannot find my Cricut uh, vinyl. I will probably just take a permanent marker and write on here Valentine's. Just make it really big and color it in. Um, and that will have to do until I can spend money because we're not spending money. We're paying off debt. So I'm going to start by taking off all of these stickers and um, labeling it and then I'm going to leave this up here and just bring up the items actually I might take this back to the yes I'm going to take this back into the attic because it's so hard for me to get these up into the attic I, I'm, we're not doing that ever again so I will peel off these stickers label it put it up in the attic, and then we'll go downstairs and get the items to fill it. I need coffee. <laughs>
Valent Day. Hey. Good enough. Right, let's go get Valentine's. This is everything I have for St. Patrick's Day, and I'm happy about it. I was able to get all of my Valentine things into the bin that they came from. I feel like it wasn't packed as neatly as it was last year, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to start with this door hanger. I got it for like 90% off last year at Hobby Lobby, so I paid $1.49 for it originally. Oh, no, it's Ashland. It's from Michael's. I'm sure I got it on clearance, probably even at 90% off for $1.49 because I would not pay anywhere near $14.99. <laughs> So I'm going to place this. On the door. All right. Um, I need to take up all of these.
have enough St. Patrick's Day mugs, so I'm going to take this and just turn it around. And the same with this. Use what you got. Cute. Still cute. All right. So we have that done. I have a couple of towels that I've picked up. Quite sure they were on clearance. How cute are those? They're little shamrocks. All right, so obviously I am not finished with this area. I'm, I still need to pull everything back down and, and clean and do all of that. You know, we've got dust. But I just wanted to show you my first take on decorating with the items a lot of these items i picked up last year on clearance from hobby lobby um, michaels tj maxx wherever i could find them i've always felt like he needs to have a hat because he has a buckle there you wouldn't wear your belt on your head, so he probably is supposed to have a hat, but I got him on clearance, and he'll, he'll be fine. This thing drove me insane. I basically put those little um, dollar spot, Target dollar spot um, jars in there with some coins, the lights, and a shamrock in the back. I have a tray that I got probably from the Target Dollar Spot. Some beads I got from Dollar General. I just hung them there. Put another tray there. And then I hung all of my towels. That one is probably from the Target Dollar Spot along with the plaid. That one's from the Dollar Store. And I think that came with the Let the Shenanigans Begin. So I have that paper. Um, garland I could put there. But it just, it's bent. It might look tacky. I think I did it last year. You can check out last year's video to see what I did. The last thing that I have. Is this hat on the door all right everyone i was hoping to get a plan with me in this video but through editing i'm seeing that it's going to be about 16 minutes long and i've already filmed my plan with me which was another 25 minutes long so that will be tomorrow's video and then the cleaning will probably be tuesday and thursday's videos but for now i really appreciate you joining me i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up also if you haven't already please hit subscribe i love gaining new friends and until the next one i'll see you then bye